let's discuss something about twinning twinning is a very interesting topic and uh, what about the incidence of twinning it is said that uh, one in 80 pregnancies are um, resulting in twinning and what are the causes attributed to the for, uh, to the twinning one of the important causes is age of the mother and the other one is infertility treatments so these are the two uh, causes attributed towards twinning so let's see what are the two major varieties of twinning. The, twin, uh, the twins can be broadly classified as dizygotic twins and the other one is called monozygotic twins. So these are the two broad classifications of twins, dizygotic twins and monozygotic twins. We all know that an embryo or a zygote is developed from fusion of one oocyte by a sperm that is what is ha happening normally sometimes what happens is there will be two oocytes released in a single ovarian cycle we have empty number of sperms and the issue is we have only one oocyte uh, which is usually released during an ovarian cycle and that is actually resulting uh, in a singleton pregnancy but sometimes there will be two oocytes uh, which are released in a single ovarian cycle so what will happen we have two oocytes and these two oocytes are separately fertilized by two sperms and this will result in two zygotes and which will be actually developing into two fetuses so this will be uh, what is happening if you get two oocytes released in one single ovarian cycle so what will happen we have two fetus developed from two separate zygotes so that is why it is called dizygotic twins. It is derived from two separate zygotes. This is just like uh, a case of siblings. Uh, the only thing is this event is happening in a single intrauterine period. Uh, whereas uh, the siblings are usually developed in separate pregnancies. But this happens in a single pregnancy. Hence we call it as twin. But uh, what is happening here is these two uh, zygotes which are developing into fetuses won't share anything in common uh, they will be having separate genetic constitution they will be of same sex or different sex as we have siblings in a home and uh, they will be having uh, everything different this, these two will be having separate placenta they will be having separate amniotic cavity everything will be separate including the genetic constitution will be separate so they are just like siblings who are actually developing in a single uh, uh, intrauterine period common intrauterine period that is the only difference what is happening in the dizygotic twins what is uh, what do you mean by monozygotic twin in monozygotic twins we have an oocyte which is fertilized by a sperm so this is uh, the formation of zygote after fertilization further development happens after this so Whichever twin we discuss further, it is derived from a single zygote which is actually formed by the fusion of an oocyte by a sperm. So this is called monozygotic twins. That is a major difference. Dizygotic twins, we have two separate zygotes already developed from two separate oocyte and sperms. But here we have a single zygote already formed from a single oocyte and a single sperm. And further subdivisions of monozygotic twins are according to the time of division uh, when the uh, zygote is actually dividing that will determine the different uh, varieties of monozygotic twins which we are going to discuss so let's see the first variety we have already the um, zygote which is formed and it will be in normal case will be undergoing cleavage division suppose when it reached the two cell stage it is going to divide what will happen you will have two uh, embryos developing from two different cells at this point we are, we are um, the chorionic cavity is not formed the amniotic cavity is not formed nothing is formed we have two cells so it will just resemble a zygote which is uh, actually uh, derived in the dizygotic twin it, it will be just resembling what is happening in the process which is happening in the dizygotic twins because we have two cells which are just uh, getting separated and they will be forming two different fetuses so in this case they will be having separate placenta they will be having 
separate amniotic cavity but the genetic constitution will be same because all these are derived from a single zygote so genetic constitution will be the same the same blood group everything will be the same the same sex and they will look similar they will be identical but the only thing is they will be having a separate placenta and separate amniotic cavity so we can name it as it is monozygotic so this group is monozygotic because it is derived from a single zygote but it is having two placenta so we can call it as bichorionic and it is having its own amniotic cavity so we can call it as biamniotic so it is monozygotic bichorionic biamniotic suppose uh, this is undergoing cleavage division two cell stage four cell stage 16 cell stage and it is actually reaching a stage where the cells are arranged into an outer cell mass and an inner cell mass. So when, it, when the outer cell mass is formed that means the blastocystic cavity is formed and that is actually giving rise to chorionic cavity. So chorionic cavity is established. Now the division is happening only for the inner cell mass. So the chorionic cavity is common for the twins. The inner cell mass is for, here. So the point to be noted is the amniotic cavity is not formed. So the inner cell mass is getting divided and you have two separate inner cell masses which is actually further dividing to form uh, the bilaminar, trilaminar, germ disc and all and it is further dividing into two separate fetuses. fetuses. So it will be having its own amniotic cavity. So two separate amniotic cavities will be developed but the entire even happens in a single chorionic cavity. So the division is actually happening at the inner cell mass stage so if the division is happening at the inner cell mass stage the twin can be let's name it is monozygotic because it is derived from the single zygote chorionic cavity it is sharing because already the chorionic cavity is formed once the cavity is formed it cannot split that is the principle so it is having a monochorionic cavity so it is called monochorionic but it is having developing two separate amniotic cavity so we can call it as biamniotic. So if the cell division is happening at the inner cell mass stage, we have the zygote named as monozygotic since it is developed in a single zygote. It is actually happening within the single chorionic cavity, so monochorionic, but it is developing into two amniotic cavities, biamniotic. Now let's happen, uh, see uh, another condition where the cells are dividing two cell stage four cell system we have the inner cell mass outer cell mass further it is forming a bilaminar germ disc so once a bilaminar germ disc is formed all the cavities are already developed we have the chorionic cavity here and we have the amniotic cavity here and within this the bilaminar germ disc is now going to divide along uh, uh, the point which we have to notice here is it is before the formation of primitive string Bilaminar germ disc has been formed but the primitive streak is not developed. So at this point if we are going to divide the uh, zygote what will happen? We have a common chorionic cavity, we have a common amniotic cavity because once the cavities are formed they are not going to, going to get separated. So we can uh, name the zygote at this level as monozygotic because it is actually derived from a single zygote. It is ha uh, the chorionic cavity is already formed so it is monochorionic and the amniotic cavity is also formed the, uh, um, the bilaminar germ disc is now going to divide so it is monoamniotic so monozygotic monochorionic monoamniotic and this is actually said to be the most dangerous condition when you compare all the different types of twins and this is actually the commonest variety which you encounter in case of uh, monozygotic twins when the uh, separation happens at the level of inner cell mass stage. So this is said to be the most dangerous and this is said to be the most common form of uh, monozygotic twins. But we, when we take all together dizygotic twins occur uh, more common uh, when you compa compare the dizygotic and monozygotic twins. Now let's see the different options which we can have in this variety monozygotic monochorionic twins. The two options which we can have are one is called conjoined twins and the other one is called parasitic twins. 
when will you get conjoint twins conjoint twins happen when this uh, bilaminar germ disc is not getting separated completely when it separates completely we get two individuals but if they are not separating completely what will happen sometimes the thoracic region will uh, will be fused whereas the rest of the parts will be separated this condition is called thoracopagus so this type of conjoint twin is called thoracopagus where the thoracic region remains fused suppose the heads are fused only the heads are fused the rest of the body parts are remaining separated this is called craniopagus craniopagus sometimes the head as well as the thoracic region both are fused whereas uh, the lower part will be unfused this is called cranio thoracopagus cranio thoracopagus whereas the cephalic region as well as the thoracic region is fused sometimes only the sacral region is fused whereas the rest of the regions will be unfused this is called pygopagus so these are the different varieties of conjoint twins which you will encounter if the bilaminar germ disc is not getting separated completely so thoracopagus when the thoracic region alone is fused craniopagus when the cephalic region is fused cranio thoracopagus when both the cephalic and thoracic region is fused and pygopagus when the sacral region is fused and what do you mean by parasitic twin parasitic twin in in parasitic twins one of the twin will be rudimentary and it will be actually uh, depending on the a uh, major twin because the blood supply to the rudimentary twin uh, will be diminished and that will remain small when you compare with the other twin so that is what is called parasitic twin and sometimes this parasitic twin will be seen within the fetus within the major twin so you will get a fetus inside the fetus that is called fetus in fetal fetus in fetal that means the parasitic twin is seen within the other twin that is called fetus in fetal uh, so we can see that the dizygotic twins which are derived from two different zygotes and the monozygotic twin which is developed when uh, at the two cell stage will resemble almost the same because we can see that both are having a uh, different chorionic cavity and different amniotic cavity the only uh, so how what is the major difference between the two when you check the monozygotic twin they are derived from a single zygote so they will be having gen same genetic constitution but when you check the dizygotic twin they will be having different genetic constitution that is a major important difference between dizygotic twin and monozygotic bicorionic by amniotic twin so these two uh, categories are uh, it is very difficult to distinguish unless you do a genetic uh, analysis because both will look similar with different uh, placenta and uh, different amniotic cavities one thing which we, which can happen in dizygotic twins is we have already mentioned that it is having a uh, two different placenta and the amniotic cavity sometimes the placenta may uh, remain closer and may get fused so that this is called fused placenta that doesn't mean that it is having a common placenta when the implantation occurs closer the placenta of both the twins will get fused and that will result in fused placenta but still it will be having a different chorionic cavity and an amniotic cavity so this is what is happening in twinning so just to uh, make a recap twins it can be broadly divided into dizygotic twin and monozygotic twin in dizygotic twin it is just like siblings the only thing is the entire event happens within a single intrauterine period so that two oocytes are released in a single ovarian cycle so uh, uh, two brothers or two sisters or one sister and a brother uh, usually develops during a common pregnancy period and in monozygotic twins Uh, it is actually one oocyte and one sperm which is further dividing into uh, uh, which is further divided to form twins so the genetic constitution will be the same because it is just dividing into two equal parts but the different varieties monozygotic bicorionic biamniotic that happens when it is dividing at two cell stage when it is dividing at the, uh, at the inner cell mass stage it will be monozygotic monochorionic but by amniotic when it is happening at the 
bilamina germed stage it will be monozygotic monochorionic monoamniotic and in this case we get two further varieties conjoint twins and parasite twins conjoint twins happen when the uh, separation is incomplete and parasitic twins happen when the blood supply to one is diminished and that will be rudimentary that's all about twinning in a nutshell thank you